So here is the uh, Artex screen. This is video number two. We're going to go over alignment. So this is a continuation of the first video. So definitely go watch this. This is the same scan, the same project. Um, I haven't moved anything or nothing like that, but we've already completed a scan uh, from this way. So uh, what we're going to do here is simply click add a scan. And then we're going to uh, rotate this. So I'm going to do this here. Make sure my screen is recording here. Okay, we're good. Alrighty, so same thing as before. Press the trigger, walk around. Okay, go back to project. Add another scan. Um, let's see, how did we start this off? We went from this way to this way. So we'll just keep going that way with the complete upside down and everything. So, there you go. And again, normally you would take your time and Make it better, but this is just for a quick tutorial, so this is good enough. So project, skin, just gonna keep going. So I think now uh, this is, I'm getting so confused, I'm not keeping track of <laughs> what direction I'm going. Um, yeah, regardless, we should have all those sides. Uh, for now, um, honestly, we probably don't need to do another scan, but uh, yeah, we actually, we've covered the, the bottom, and that's the important part, so we can actually just go back. So we've got three scans, that's good enough, so let's head over to the computer. Okay, so I'm just continuing on from the first video, um, so I'm going to start basically from scratch, considering like... Uh, Consider it like we haven't done anything with that first scan. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that data. But now we go File, Import. One second, there we go. File, Import. Leo Project, Connect to Scanner. Go back to here, and it'll actually import um, all those scans. So we can actually delete uh, Project 72. It might merge them. I've never actually tried this, so we'll see what it does here. Okay, so I'm actually going to delete... Uh, this project here. All right. So that's all of our scans right there. Now what I like to do is um, only show one of them and just do that base removal on each of them. So eraser, base selection, hold control, erase, hide that, show the next one, same thing. Just getting it to where we only have the object. Easy peasy. Erase. Okay. So now we've got all those. Let's go ahead and show all of them. We're going to come over here to Align. And notice how it selects one as the blue, the primary. Uh, so we're going to just left click once. And this will say that it's green. But if I select another one, it only shows those two. The reason being is because we just want to uh, show just those two at once. Now, there is enough... Uh, data on this I might actually be able to um, select all this and just go auto align we'll see if it can just auto align it because there are very prominent features on there so that <laughs> that actually did auto align it um, but uh, I want to show how to actually do this manually for a more complex project um, so we will just select this one here you hold shift and then you middle mouse click and drag we want to turn textures on so we can see the textures because we're going to be, uh, you know, using them to compare here. So let's go ahead and that's good enough for me. So pretty simple. Let's just go here between the nine. So you're just left clicking, left clicking, just selecting areas that are, you know, unique. They have high contrast and stuff like that. You don't have to be perfectly accurate or anything like, like that, but easy peasy and honestly you only need three 
we'll click a line and that will bring the green one to the blue one and then it turns them both into primaries. I'm not sure what the actual term is for the blue thing, I just call it primary. Um, so now we have left click this one to turn this one green, so it's showing this, so hold shift and left click. And we're going to rotate this around to be the front, and same thing. We're going to click about the HP. Bam. Let's go with, I like the 9, right in between the 9. And let's try maybe like the blue over here of the laptop. And we'll click a line. Booyah. So you click apply. And there you go. So the same thing applies. Next you go to tools, global registration. It's going to look at all that. Now instead of just those 235 frames, uh, we have basically a thousand frames to look at. And uh, yeah. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to do sharp fusion. Now we can do watertight on this. And unlike the first video, now that we have the bottom here, it's going to be a full, complete, tight mesh. So watch this. Um, it may be even faster at uh, rendering now uh, because it has no giant holes that it has to water, like fill with watertight. So we'll see how this goes. Okay. So here's our completed mesh, fully enclosed, everything like that. You're going to see some smaller extraneous stuff here again, small object filter, that'll clean all that up. Now we just have our main mesh, fully enclosed, the bottom now, everything. So um, this model is 3.5 million polygons, as you can see at the bottom right. Um, that is quite a bit for a box. <laughs> we could probably decimate this down to just like 5,000 even and be fine. Um, I'll save that for the next video, um, but yeah, that is how you align. So hopefully that answers your guys' questions on that. Um, I will be doing an updated version of this video again um, once I'm feeling better and I can actually feel like getting things ready, like a microphone and then fixing the uh, screen recording. Notice how um, the bottom half of my screen is, or like bottom 10% portion of the screen is not showing. That's just because I have a super ultra wide monitor. And uh, when I full screen and not uh, a thing, it doesn't take a picture.